I wanted to show, um, I've just received my little Filofax roll bun, which is soft and squidgy, and beautiful leather, there's a hidden pocket there, a pocket there, a pocket to that side, a pocket to that side, credit card, slots, and then the wallet section at the back. And there is a little zip for coins and things in there. <coughs> and a pen leaf. Which is elasticated. So I decided that I wanted to use this as my wallet because I have arthritis and as much as I like my Midori, um, if it's every day walking about carrying it, it tends to make weigh my bag down quite a lot so I thought but I love bullet journaling so it's so easy it's simple and I really love bullet journaling so I decided to try and make a pocket sized Firefax as my wallet and my bullet journal and the reason I like bullet journaling is because it is just basically plain paper and you make the marks on it. You you number the pages and you have an index. That's it. There's no dividers, there's no half here, half there. Because that's not bullet journaling in my in my it, it's too complicated for me. I would like just the bullet journal. But I also like my own pages. So I bought this book, which was quite cheap, but it's a very, very nice paper. And it's very small because the file of facts, squares and lines are quite small. And I think all this is wasted space. All this is just waste. So my idea is the fact that I am just going to make my own pages so I got this book and I've taken the staples are very very stiff in this you have to be careful so I took the cover off and then I ripped the cardboard I ripped the cardboard off the back which left me with, with the pad which is A5 So, using some of the inserts, I thought I could get three pages out of one. So if I cut the three pages from one sheet, that's going to give me some quite nice shapes and because this is square it doesn't matter if it's going to be that way or if it's going to be the other way so we'll do the first one as a template it's not going to be perfect but I think if I make a mark there, and a mark there, and a mark there. And now that one is going to have, that one will have perforations in it. I'm not really happy with that because that's, I think we'll just start there, and mark there. And the other thing I really object to is the price of the file of facts. <coughs> um, th they never seem to have the one I want, uh, and especially with the bullet journal. So if I just put that safe, because I'll put that onto there. So just line that up and line that one up, hold it down. Now this is going to be a little bit fiddly, admittedly. Oh dear. I'm 
that was the first one that I've done wrong. So let's see how far we are out. No, it's fine. This, that one will just have a little bit of a tear in it, but again, you do it right to the edge. So, and then this one needs slimming. I lend this to my daughter. I think she's trying to get that off. And end up. I guess that's It's not quite square, isn't that one? But I don't think it's going to matter. So from one page, I've got three. It's a little bit thinner. Um, it's a little bit thinner, so I might put that just to do the two for the moment I think. Um, let me think we can get this another way. So if we put no oh, that's wasting too much. Touch that one there, and that one there, and that one in the middle. Put another one. It's a bit fiddly, is this? But then, you know, if you want to sit and put the TV on or the radio on, it would be fine to wear. Uh, Sometimes things are never square, are they? Oh dear. Ah, that's better. I think there's something wrong. I think we should have the real one this time. This didn't come off. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just for me. So I've now got three. And I can just mark that one. They've suddenly become not very well. My hands have decided that they want to shake, which is not good for a crafter, but they help you persevere. Oh, sorry about that. So that gives us our pages. And then once they've got holes in, And I will use it. I, I tend to, I still use my Midori for bullet journal, but I wanted something that I could take with me every day, put lots of notes in, and then when I've got ideas and things that, that I think, because I forget things now, then, um, so what I will do is I'll put some holes in and then I'll uh, probably do a video of, of how I'm using it as a wallet and a bullet journal. Yeah. Just wanted to show this little thing from WH Smith. Um, it has a line, a, a block there. You can see that little, and it has a block at the top. But it's a little bit fiddly because you don't get all all the things at the same time. So you've got to do it three or four times. So I think that might drive me slightly insane first time I do it so what I thought I might do is just the good old-fashioned way and um, break it through uh, 
um, in this case you can do quite a few at once. As I don't like the fact it's going to have so many holes, so I think that's probably the best thing to do. And because you've used the Filofax template, you know that they are going to just pop into there and fit quite nicely. So if I kind of fill that, I think that would look quite nice. And then when you shut them up, they should all sit perfectly straight, ready to do a bullet journey. I just wanted to add, um, I just noticed that obviously the two that way are the same, but the one that's across there, where I'm punching it, is actually perforated. See. So if I take the ordinary ones, put those in there, at the back, at the back I can have some, it just looks like bullet journaling, but actually I could um, put them in and then if it's if a it's, um, shopping list I can just, you can see it, I can just it out. So that's actually a bonus by using that one across the other way there. So I thought that would be quite good. So that means that does actually give me some rough paper working backwards and then I can bullet journal forwards. So hopefully I've put um, a ball clip to make sure that the holes are going to be really really nice. And I could edge the corners, round the corners off to make it really pretty. But this is supposed to be functional. All I want to do is to bullet journal. So I need the smallest lines possible and squares help me keep quite neat. Uh, so I shall fill that up and I probably will put a little dashboard in because I, I do have other Firefoxes A4 size. Sorry, pocket size. <clears throat> A4 I think is slightly bigger. I think that's A4. So although you think it would go in, when you shut it up it would actually stick out. But there is no reason why you can't buy an A4. The problem with that is the, the, the lines are not... I'd write too big and I like to keep small. So um, if I could find an A4 of this then I would be a happy girl. Um, so I just thought you might find that little piece of information interesting. So I'm going to fill that one with the, the edge pieces and then the one that's perforated when I've cut it off, that will go at the back so that I've got scrap paper or I can tear one off and do a shopping list if I want to. But it still keeps me really simple as a bullet journal so that my index will be the guide and then I will just go through it. And because you can take them out, um, it, it's not like it's a book. That's why I like bullet journaling. You know, once you've gone past a certain month and you've used it and you've done all the things that are on there and you forward them on if you haven't, that can go. It's a scrappy piece of paper. It cost me £2.90 uh, for quite a few sheets. And although it's, it is nice, um, you know, it, it wasn't five pounds from Firefax where you feel that you've got to fill in every little tiny bit. Um, and I think that I've got some quite nice lines in there. So that is the original Filofax notepaper. And that is my um, cut up. I could do it neater. I'm sure if everybody else did it, they could do it neat in the mud. But it's the same size and the squares are about the same. So that means line for line it's the same. Um, and I like the fact that at the back I can, I've got like two little because of the glue on the pad, the original pad, because of the glue these are actually stuck together so it's like I've got two pads that I can just tear off because of the perforations. which I think will be quite handy 
Um, even if you use it as a to-do list, you could use it as a to-do list and then you could just tear it out and get rid of it. Because to-do lists and shopping lists are things that you wouldn't want to keep really forever and they're, they're kind of, if I work backwards I would have the shopping list and I would have a to-do list and then that would kind of keep me going and then that I can just get rid of that and then still have the bullet journal of um, an index and then every page numbered would be relevant to a couple of months I would think we could get a couple of months in there um, and because I don't work I don't need um, I need to remind things so I'm quite pleased with my little purchase thank you for watching Thank you for watching.